Hey guys, Bonnie Shaw here with Elite Sports TV. Make sure you like and subscribe and always tune in. People, people, people. This no look good and Coach Aimee Alguimse. If Coach Aimee Alguimse should get sacked after this final game against Venezuela in the Copa America, let me know down in the comment section. Who do you guys think you guys would want to see coaching the Jamaican national team? You have many good coach out there where the Jamaican Football Federation can hire. Let me know down in the comment section. Jamaica people, the JFF have a lot of money. A lot of people have said JFF have the money to pay off this coach. A lot of money tell. Jamaican Football Federation, they has been getting a lot of money from a lot of sponsorship. So don't buy that. But this don't look good. And our head coach going into a big important game. Win, lose our job. It seems like Alvimson will lose him job. Let me know. People, 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 people. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good morning. Good night. Whenever you're watching back the video and the replay. My name is Ryan LFC. Back again, guys. Another top shell video for you guys today. As you guys can see in the tiger and the thumbnail. We're going to talk about the man himself, Rudolf Speed. We're going to talk about Coach Amir Al Grimson. Wow, this don't look good, people. This don't look good on our reggae boys, head coach. On the day, the Jamaican observer, why may I tell you, people? Trust me, I can't make up this. Welcome to Jamaica. They may say, Harry Man, welcome, viewers and subscribers. Stop what you're doing. Hit the like button, please. The more you like the video, the more people can find the content. So stop what you're doing, hit the like button, share it out down in the comment section, and hit that subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell. Now, people, everything that I'm going to give my opinion on or in this video, I will pin the link. You guys can go ahead and read it. Read the Jamaican Observer for yourself. All right? So I am not making up anything. I am just reading off uh, the Jamaica Observer and I'm giving my opinion on the story. So don't leave and say, Ryan said this, Ryan said this about the coach, Ryan said this about the JFF. Mm -mm. I am getting my information and I'm giving my opinion on what I see and what I read in the Jamaican Observer. I'm going to pin it down in the comment section so you guys can go ahead and share your thought on it if you are subscriber. But I'm going to take the main key point out of the article. And may I go ahead? So, first one, this could be Coach Amir Grimson, last game for the Jamaica national team. Remember, Coach Amir Grimson, his job is to take Jamaica to the World Cup. And he came in about two years ago. He came in to lead the Jamaican national team to the World Cup. But based on that, we accomplishment under Coach Amir Grimson, semi final, Nation League, semi final, Gold Cup, qualify for Copa America. He lost two games so far. He had the final game against Venezuela today. Um, he came in. FIFA ranking for the Jamaica national team has improved. We were at 60 when him take over. Now we are 53. So that is some of the progress and the coach I'm here, Al Grimson. Right? Went away. The big result, the big performance in Canada to win that game to take us to qualify for Copa America. So Al Grimson has done some good things, but he has done some bad thing. So we just want to give you guys a little bit of context when it come on to Coach Agrims' success. Yes, people. Um, he's doing, you know, I think an okay job, you know. But based on the player then that Jamaica have, we need to see us play a little bit more attacking and, you know, to compete. Because we can't compete against these bigger nations. But that is for another story. This is for 
what I read in the Jamaican Observer. So viewers and subscribers, again, don't blame me. I am just giving my opinion on what said in the Jamaican Observer. Alright? Now, viewers and subscribers, one of the main topics we want to touch on, big point, big key out of the interview. When the man himself from this year, January, Coach Jaime Aguil to pop up him thing and gone back to Iceland and the Jamaican Football Federation provide the coach with the house and Coach Jaime Aguil to pop up him thing, gone back to Iceland and do him dentist job and travel to Jamaica when the Jamaica national team have game. Again, I don't know what the agreement or the thing that the Jamaican Football Federation have with Coach Jaime Aguil but what I know, Coach Paula did want the job, but Mr. Sweet said no, you have to live in Jamaica. If you really want to lead this national team and coach this national team, you have to live in, in Jamaica. But Coach Jaime Aguil said from the start, JFF provide a host for him and the man himself pack up him thing gone back to Iceland but I've been telling you guys some of these stuff that the reporter said but give credit where you the reporter the article low big up to low he's the one who write the article and I don't know if he connected Damien Low or whatever I don't know I don't want to go there people but the, his last name is low alright he talk about the the old situation I mean I give to fly gone back to Iceland. The another key point in time where I take from the interview. Key, again, key about the administration not happy with all coach I may agree with him. Deal with the situation with Leon Bailey. And the article said, even when the public backlash and all of them things there with the Jamaican Football Federation and Leon Bailey said it wanted to break, coach I may agree with him is still going to try to get Leon Bailey to come in to play the second game, which, you know, lose that second game against Ecuador. 3 1. And the article said, Coach, are pushing to get Leon Bailey. Boy, people, that one the kind of hard. Based on what happened when the squad released, that one the kind of hard for you know the coach still trying to get him back, Leon Bailey, to come and represent for Jamaica after what happened when the squad released and the man said, want a break, and then. Hot Cope of the coach still trying to get there and there. Another thing I want to take from the interview where um, the article said that um, many of the key players in the Jamaica national team has lost trust and lose faith in coach Jaime and Gibbs. And when you have key pieces, key players losing trust, losing hope after man who leading the team forward, you know that that can only go one way. You understand? So, that's three major key points I take away from that interview. Viewers and subscribers, let me know down in the comment section if you read it. Tell me if I'm missing out on anything. Now, another thing I want to take away from the interview. So that's three. So four, when Coach Jaime Aguilar traveled to go and scout player and look for player, the Jamaican Football Federation they will provide to buy Playing ticket or whatever, to stay in hotel or whatever. And you know, I'm jabbing man to make the Jamaica national team get better. So it is a fall for the Jamaican Football Federation to do all of them stuff here to provide playing ticket, provide hotel, provide food, all of them stuff to because he's on the job and he's looking for player to come to represent for Jamaica to qualify for the World Cup. And Another key point where the JF is not helping to get passport for players and people, we talk about the process with passport. Our groups will allow things to speed up and their particular point to a player. Recently, so what we talk with a get a Jamaican passport, Coach I made Graham so won that player and he didn't get it. Um, the passport didn't ready in time and all of them stuff there. So, another key point in time, key. From, from that people. See? But with all of these people, you know, 
the unprofessional of the Jamaican Football Federation, I don't want people to paint it. And yes, some of these things probably true with the observer, the article I said about Coach Jaime Grimson losing the dressing room. Yeah, it could be true. But the bigger thing is, yes, I don't want to see Jamaica have a new coach. Right? To progress the football a little bit better. But I think the JFF have to take some responsibility of the professionalism when you come on to the Jamaican Football Federation. It's kinda it don't look good. The professional level, the standard need to raise. And Bailey and the coach agree with some of the professional things. It can be a little bit better and all of them things. But people, it seems like it look or it look like this is going to be the final game of Coach Almey or Grimser. People, you guys can read it. You guys can let me know what do you guys think about it. The article said a whole heap of disturbing thing. And the article looked like, yo, look like the man who chew Coach Almey or Grimser under the bus. No for the thing where the man them say people. Boy, I mean, I know people. The coach lose the dressing room, this and that. And the, boy, I mean, I know people. This seems like. Someone from the administration leaked some of these things too. I don't know people, but let me know what do you guys think. Who should be blamed? We have in a key game, a big game, and the day. So much things happen every time we have a big game. You know, something come out to, to distract you from the game and all of them stuff there. And it's not sustainable. Just like the coach and him football in the OM coach. I mean I know people, but it seems like this right all over it again. It seems like we tell you already, said so JFF have to find a way to mash up things when it's going in. Or it look like it's going good or whatever. But people, let me know. I just want to make you guys aware of the Observer Inter um, um, article. So you guys can go and check it out. I will link it down in the comment section and you guys can check it out. Hit the like button, share it out down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about the article.